Every time Pam Coker rocks up in EastEnders, a crowd cheers. And no one more loudly than me, her visits are too brief but are extra special, making me nostalgic for the time when she was a regular character. Pam, played wonderfully and understated by Lynn Blackley, is a community figure full of heart and realism, a friend for all and wise, funny and caring. In a soap that is full of deception, nastiness and betrayal, figures like Pam provide the contrast to the heavy drama of feuds, which actually makes the intensity of those more effective. EastEnders is seriously lacking moralistic characters, thanks in large to the painful direction of the Grey Atkins story, which robbed us of the pure Kush Kazemi and Tina Carter. I have spoken in the past about how much of a mistake it was to axe Pam and Lay Coker, a stunningly bad decision and nonsensical. Here was a couple who constantly survived with love, a rare thing in soap. We saw such human vulnerability and joint strength, in particular through the loss of their beloved grandson Paul and Lay opening up about his cross-dressing. And then came the unique bond between Pam and Ben Mitchell with powerful connections and on-screen chemistry with Harry Reid and then Max Bowden. The realism of Pam popping back to support Ben through hard times is a great consistency in a drama which has to make dodgy excuses why relatives don't attend funerals and weddings. Pam's appearances also hit home the complete lack of the older generation of characters, held up well by Kathy Beale and Patrick Truman. There was a time when EastEnders was much more inclusive of generations, with Pat Butcher, Pauline Fowler, Arthur Fowler and Peggy Mitchell all being central to the show. When Pam and Leigh were written out, their departures coincided with the axings of Claudette, Sylvie, and Aunt Babe, almost eradicating that age group in one swoop. They were barely replaced except for the attempt at a direct mock-up of Pam and Leigh in the form of Ted and Joyce Murray. Despite them being cast with very strong actors, the feeling just wasn't there and while it had nice moments, Ted's bond with Bernie was no Pam and Ben. Within about a year, they were written out, with Joyce's death hammering home the fact that attempts to make the Murrays the most loving couple of the square had failed. In fact Joyce's haranguing of Ted was bordering on unpleasant, Pam and Leigh interactions were much more fun in Banterville. The square needs Pam, now more than ever since the abrupt departure of Dot Branning. Cherie's introduction appeared to go nowhere and again lacked the kindness and soul of Pam. We all know a Pam and want that kind of energy replicated on screen. The other soaps can do it and we need it to lift the mood of a pretty miserable community. Inviting Lynn, who was open with me about being open to a permanent return, to only make guest appearances is missing a trick. Ideally I would embrace having both Pam and Lay back in the fold but I will settle for Pam bringing that infectious warmth which doesn't just add something to the community feel but also adds more depth to the characters she interacts with. Come on EastEnders, stop the teasing and reinstall Pam. We're all waiting.